Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this is Southeast Speed Shop, which is really just my garage, which is just a, uh, a messy garage with a lot of tools and stuff to do, some pretty cool builds. So we'll bring you guys along on a couple journeys of some cars I'm building. Uh, one of which is right behind me. 1963 and a half hardtop Falcon Futura behind me here. I found this thing, strange story, I found this thing up in North Georgia um, rusting away in somebody's yard, right? So it's life is kind of over and uh, there it was kind of taking it back. So I felt like it deserved another shot and uh, it needed some work. So we're gonna take a look at it here. Let's take a look and see. So obviously no drive train in it right now. Uh, missing some fenders and uh, quite a few body panels. I do have them back there. Uh, go inside here. Here's the problem. As you can see, uh, you can see right through the floor. That's the problem. So this little girl's got some uh, some major rust issues. The outside body's actually in pretty good shape. She's pretty solid. Rockers are nice and solid. Um, someone's already cut up on the fender rails a little bit, but that's cool. For the most part, the car's in pretty good shape. It just needs a floor. And instead of putting a floor back in it, and putting it back like 1963, I figure what the hell, let's do something different. So we're gonna do something a little bit different with this build. We're going to, uh, we're gonna do an all-wheel drive Falcon. It's gonna be pretty cool. So that said, we're gonna take the running gear out of a 1998 Bravada, which is basically the same as a Typhoon or a Cyclone, and we're gonna shove it into this thing and uh, make a little project that I'm referring to as the Falcone. Or if that's stupid, you guys have another name you think fits it better for an all-wheel drive Falcon. I'll take your uh, suggestions, so let me know. Anyway, welcome to the channel. This is the first kind of build we're gonna do on, on here. First of many, I hope. And uh, glad to have you come along. So, uh, to kick this thing off, we got a lot of cutting to do. I haven't touched this car. I've been wanting to start the channel, uh, get a little, um, video footage before I started working on it. So we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna set up some cameras uh, and uh, we're gonna do this process together. But here's kind of the beginning stages of what's there. And uh, as you can see, I've already, a uh, little teaser there, um, already started thinking about the power plant that's gonna push this boy down the road. So I'm definitely thinking we're gonna do something like a twin turbo, maybe a big single turbo. Uh, I wanna keep it as much forward as I can. I realize we're doing a cyclone. Um, Kind of typhoon build here but it's a ford right so i want to keep a ford power plant in it uh, the suspension the rear end front end may be cyclone but it's basically going to be completely custom so not to offend any of the ford guys out there uh, i'm not really brand specific or brand loyal i don't care i want to put something that's cool together it doesn't really matter if it's a ford if it's chevy or if it's a mix but uh, uh i kind of want to keep this one a ford at least uh, running gear uh, or powertrain rather. You gotta cut this thing apart. Okay, so front end out. All this has gotta go because it's gonna get a full frame basically up underneath it with suspension, uh, everything. So really all I need to keep, all I need to keep here is these top rails, which will help me locate the fenders once I'm uh, once I get finished redoing or reboxing in the supports for this front end, so I'm going to take these. I'm going to keep these top rails, this front core support area. I'll keep all that. I'll cut some off here. I'll cut it down low so I can keep most of that front up there intact. And that'll keep the integrity of the front end of the car, the fender mounting positions correct, all that good stuff. But all of this stuff in here, all that.
tired. All right, we've made a little progress here, as you can see from the parts laying on the ground. After a couple hours of cutting and plasma cutting and grinding and cutting some more, we uh, have the front end free. The front suspension is now pulled out, and uh, we've got a big mess here, so we got a lot of cleanup. I'll be working some of these um, inner fender wells a little bit, uh, making the clearance for the the frame that's coming out of this guy right here so I think it's about 40 41 inches wide I think that's about what we have and this thing from frame rail to frame rail it's pretty close um, but these front frame rails here right here they stop right at the firewall like that's where they end so I'm gonna go cut those off I'm gonna open up the firewall these tow boards down here at the bottom I'll all come out. They're rotten anyway. Um, I'll free up all this space under here and um, work on the floor too. So the floor will come out. All this will be open. So the only thing that's still going to be here, I'm going to leave some of the, the uh, firewall so we can have a reference point of where we need to be. Um, I don't know. I might leave some of these tow boards until I get the frame under just to kind of see where we're at. Um, I don't know. My biggest frame or my biggest point of reference at this point are going to be these front fender mounts. So I'm going to hang the fenders back on. I'm going to put a jack under here to stabilize it, get the height back up, do some measurements on it. Um, and I'll put the uh, fenders back on it to keep the body lines correct. And then, um, yeah, go from there. All right, guys. That's it for the first edition of the Foul Clone on the uh, Southeast Speed Shop channel. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, got a little dirty, as you can tell. Um, don't really have any ending phrase to say at this point. This is my first video. So I just hope you guys come back, see some more. We're gonna keep after it. Uh, be good, see you soon.